Hi, um, this tutorial will show you how to create a Spring project and configure it with Hibernate and uh, we use the Spring transaction to commit data to the database. So let me walk you through the code. So I have a project. So that's a, a Spring Hibernate project which has been created and I've done some coding for that. And it is basically um, built on Spring framework with uh, Maven to build the source code. Okay, let's go to the code. I got a controller, Spring controller, which is a annotated controller. You need to specify the Spring that this is a controller class, and I have a couple of methods. Uh, these methods are uh, used to serve the request. So it's like our servlet, what we do in the um, vanilla JSP servlet application. So uh, here, this is to load the home page. Uh, that's my contact JSP page. And this is an add method which add the contact to the database and uh, this is delete this particular contact uh, from the list. And to furthermore, we I have a contact service um, through which um, the controller will call this service this is our not wired component. So once you say that this is not wired, the spring framework will get that instance pool and ready for use. So we don't need to worry about the life cycle of the add instance. So right now, I'm going to show you how we go to the implementation class of this one. Um, and this is the implementation class here. And I have uh, three methods like add contact, list contact, and the remove contact. So list will return a list of uh, um, contacts in the database and uh, and this is going to add a contact to the database and this is remove that contact so it's kind of delete so now just eye on these things just look at this transaction so this is a spring transaction so to be honest like seeing that this is the basic transaction which use so this is the spring transaction is used instead of hibernate transaction so let's see how the hibernate transaction generally happens this transaction is from the spring package so let's not go into that so I'm going to use the sorry I'm going to use this card so if you see here I uh, have two methods here one is so sorry three methods here so one is so um, the session factory that's for the hibernate session factory and uh, this is the con list of contact what I have is another one is to add to the contacts so use a session factory that get session then you save the contact so the, the transaction is used from the spring not from the hibernate transaction if you see this code this is how generally the native hibernate transaction happens so because I have two methods it shows red marks um, so in uh, hibernate you have to get the session then begin the transaction do your operation then commit it and it is purely from hibernate side but right now I'm not using that we use a simple method here so just get the hibernate session and uh, create the query to list the contact and this is um, the remove contact we need to remove the contact from the ID so if I pass the ID as in, uh, from the front end and then it's get deleted so that's pretty much of that application. So the, the highlight here is we are using a transaction from Spring. So let's see how that goes. So if I want to run this application, I may have to do a build. So it is building automatically when I say what's a hotspot server. So I'm gonna run it on server. Okay. I'm going to restart this because we make some changes in the Java side. So restarting, please bear with me. It takes a while to load the Spring context and the application context and stuff like that. 
So behind, I, wish, I would I want to show you how the database things happens. So this is the table which I use to insert data. So first name, last name, telephone, email, and uh, create a date. So that's pretty much of that table. So whatever we save, it going to sit in there. Right now it's empty. Uh, let's query that. It could be empty now. There's no data right now. So that's uh, MySQL database. All right, alrighty. So God, we got the first page here. So I'm going to add some value to that. Sorry, and I put a dummy email ID and a telephone number. Let's say everything is zero. I don't care for this number format. I'm just going to save it down. So it save, all right. It got saved into that. So you could see some hibernate logs here. So hibernate uh, query has been um, they logged it out to the console. So this is what I created. We just we go back to the database and query it again. You can see just now they inserted some data. So this is what has been inserted. So if you go here, it call this add, and then it go and call the service where we have the implementation here just see that a simple implementation is going to take this information and uh, save it down to the data layer so the data layer they use what here it's there is no transaction I mentioned but it's been mentioned here the repository base and if you go to the service level you can see that transaction is being mentioned here so the add contact all these things are using spring transaction that's how it is so if you go and see contact or JSP Okay, what is it? Yep. The connect JSP is a simple page with a form inside and a couple of uh, you know some JSTL tags to list the um, contacts and you can delete it from here by passing the ID in the parameter uh, in the URL. So you are going to call it from the controller if you see the controller. I'm going to take this contact ID here and then delete it from the database. So if we go here and see what happens. So where's it? Okay, right here. I'm going to delete this. It's gone. So if you go and see the database, it should be gone. Exactly. Cool. So that's what I want to tell you. So it is using Hibernate and Spring, but the transaction is used from Spring. The Spring transaction, uh, Spring controller, and the Hibernate framework to the ORM framework which you use to come with the data. So if you have any question, let me know. Thanks. Bye-bye for watching this.